Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your daily death. I'm Mr. Death coming at you with all things origins. And today we're going to be talking about your dailies, your chores, the stuff you do every day, or you're supposed to, the game you play before the game. You can find them easily in your city hall, right next to your main hall. Daily quest is what the game calls it. I don't know what. But these chests up here, you should be trying to knock these out every day. All you got to do is just complete all of this. Looks like a lot, it really is not. We can go ahead and log on to another account and we will start some dailies off. And we'll start off by claiming our login reward. Believe it or not, that is a daily. See, told you this shit was easy. Go ahead and get rid of that little screen that keeps popping up every day for some reason that I can't turn off. And that too. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit this little recruit because. You got three of them, they take five minutes between each one, so the faster you hit that, the faster the next one can come on and get it over with. Because all three of them are part of your dailies. Go ahead and collect these, get this little thing here, and then we'll start the next one. And get something good for ourselves, and that's good enough for me right now. Ask for help. Let me go here and talk to my girly girls. This one gives me nice stuff every day. I talk to her. Make her feel special. Take her on a little date, you know? Make her feel good. And then we'll talk to this one. Keep her in a separate room. She doesn't even know about the other one. They both think they're the only girl in my life. Take her on a little date. Okay, we're done with that. Quick date, a little quickie. Go ahead and collect that. I ain't gonna hit that right now, just because I don't wanna keep hitting it over and over again, and I'm probably gonna accumulate a couple things. Go ahead up here, collect these two chests that I get for free every day. Hit the black market up. I have plenty of fuel on this profile, so I'm going to take some chocolates. Never sell off your healing speeds. In fact, you want to buy healing speeds if there's anything you can trade them out for. Go ahead and sell off everything you can on your resources. And, like I said, you want to buy healings? I wish I could buy that. Because believe it or not, a regular speed can be used for healings, though. That's more valuable than a healing speed. That's first valuable, then healings. So you get them turret parts because you will not like it whenever it's time to upgrade your turret and you don't got enough parts. That's a horrible feeling. So your resource save. Go ahead and use up all these. Get all that free stuff while you can. Help out your team. I'm going to collect all this stuff I had. Get all this good stuff from my good lines. Collect more of these goody goodies. You want to make sure that you collect all of these before you hit up your distribution center. I can't tell you how many times I've actually hit the distribution center up, had to sell off some stuff, and then I realized that I didn't hit this yet, and I had enough stuff here to go ahead and get it, but you live and you learn. For pow! See? All right. Collect all this stuff. And doing that always reminds me to make sure I check. Yeah, there we go. Hit my harvest. Let me go ahead and collect this little part here. Normally, instead of collecting that, since that's only once a week, normally I would come and just hit my auto. You always want to check your armament. Anything good. If it's free, that means it's good. Doesn't matter what it is. Alright, I'm going to check. And, yeah, 25% off. I'll go ahead and get it right now. I got the gold. Yeah. Go. But then normally I would come to my exchange store. I always get my two alloys. That was just left over from yesterday. I don't even know why. But then I'd get my alloys. Then I'd get myself one components chest, then one blueprint S, and then I max out the rest of my points in the blueprint chest A's. And that's all you really need from there. Everything else comes naturally. But don't forget this little store here. You need to do something in it. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <coughs> Sold something. That counts as my daily. Now I can come back later and get whatever else I want. I most likely will. But then you come back over here, you're basically just making a big circle around your base. Only by now, I guess I'm doing it kind of quick. The uh, next recruitment will be ready. But, I'm going to go ahead and hit this little perk. Yeah, this little thing here. Click that, there we go. That's the last one of this. All right, go ahead and click that now. See, I told you. There's two of those. And then when I hit that, it normally always reminds me. I got that there. There it is. Little Jimmy Jimmy. What? Line of contribution. We're going to go ahead and knock out these 15. 
I like to look at what I have the most of. A few thousand wheat, and I have a couple, a little over a million oil. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit this oil, since I got plenty of it to spare right now. I can always spare some for the Alliance. It helps me out, so i got to help it out. And click that. Oh, so I got myself two normal recruitments. You need yourself materials, healing speeds, commander XP. You want to knock these bad boys out. Now you need to do some type of upgrade to an officer. Does not really matter what. You can star one up, which I suggest saving that for events. Or you can use commander XP or skill XP. One, boom. That's enough for it. That's all it takes. I'm going to go ahead and do that for this, though. But you can just as easily just, boom, use 50 of those, and that would count as your daily. Do not forget to come up to your specials every day. As you see, there's no icon on it. Nothing tells you to come up to it. But normally there's always something free in here. Yeah, who wants to pass all that up? And we'll get it going. Boom. Okay, you want to always make sure that you have troops being built, a building being upgraded, or research being done. Not only does it help increase your power, help level up your city, make it stronger, but they're also part of your dailies. So I always like to check out the war side first, see what I can do. I can do something here, so awesome, I'm going to. Let's put some more stuff on my weapons. But my priority normally is military, and then be a toss-up between development and city defense, and then resources. As long as you're getting enough resources. If you ain't getting enough resources, you might want to start looking at that. But, okay, cool, got that. Let's go ahead and collect that. Me, personally, I just don't like little icons on my screen for no reason. Now, icon now is reminding me, we need to do this. Come to your storage. You only need to meld one material. Leave all the rest for events, because events will be asking you to meld so many materials sometimes. So you want to have materials in here to meld. But, just every day, part of your dailies, meld one material. Boom, that's it. Knocked her out. Got the reason I was even going all the way over here would be to upgrade a building. Okay, I know I got that chilling around, so let me go ahead and grab that up. It's got that energy core. Uh huh, uh huh. So there we go. Okay, got myself a building upgrading, got myself research being done. Let me go ahead and Upgrade the zombie. Well, recruit zombies. Go ahead and start myself another troop promotion. If you want to do just the basics, just to get the uh, daily done, I like to always keep some level 1 infantry in here because they are cheap and quick to do. And you only need to do 250 units per day to count for your daily. I know I've already got it done, but hey, screw it. There we go. And that's 250 units of every type of unit. Not saying you got to do a sniper and an infantry, just human troops, machine troops, and whatever you want to call them in the, the workshop. But it equals out to 250 human troops. You only need to recruit 50 of the ones that are five units a piece, and then the ones that are 10 units a piece, you only need to do 25. And that'll equal your 250 units. There it is. That's what I was stalling for. Let's get this last one that's free. And now we're going to pop on out of our base. You're going to come over to the <coughs> nearest ruins. If you don't know where your nearest one is, you can always come up here to where you can check on your refugees. And there's a button. Proceed to ruins. That brings you, boom, to your nearest one. Hit your ruins. If you are missing refugees, get some. If you have four refugees, wait to skip this one. Later throughout the day, you might get in a little scuffle with someone and lose some refugees. And then you can always come back to the ruins, hit that, and get them right back. And since we just got done getting some more troops, since as soon as I logged in, gotta make sure that I have all that set, maxed out. There we go. We're gonna save it. Get a little stronger every day. Send those guys out. While they're getting sent out to that, I'm going to come over back to my base. <clears throat> I'm going to reinforce just the nearest person that I can. Doesn't matter. As long as it's over a thousand troops I'm sending, I said it doesn't matter because I'm going to be taking them right back. And then while I do that, then I can easily just go to anyone else and check on their island. 
That's all you gotta do is just be there for one second. It counts. Boom. That's one of my ones. <laughs> and that's all it takes. Now we withdraw our reinforcements. Boom. There we go. That's a daily. We're gonna come in. Kill these troops that were just at the ruins. Boom. That's a daily. See how quick we're knocking those things out? Alright. Click, click some more stuff. Boom. Easy money. Easy money. But, we're gonna come down. We're gonna hit that elite zombie. Go ahead and hit my preset. I'm gonna speed through this a little bit. Ain't nothing new. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him again. Same fleet. And once you get done with the elite zombie, you're pretty much done with inside your base. You're gonna pop back outside. And now we can either come back over and finish doing the rest of the ruins. Uh, everything else, depending on what kind of account this is, main account, farm account, blah, blah, blah. And then you need to go ahead and, and attack and defeat five monsters. Doesn't matter if they're level 29s, doesn't matter if they're 30s, doesn't matter if they're level 1s. As long as you kill five monsters. You can't just go out and attack one and lose, you have to kill them. And then once you have at least five done, which me personally, I like to attack them until I have no fuel left. Then once you are done with the monsters, last thing to do for your dailies is gathering. I like to start off by just sending a fleet to the power war mine. You only got four hours a day of that. Make sure you don't forget about it, because you don't get it back. You just gotta wait till the next day. And then you'll come hit this compass, or you can also go to your elite mines in your lines. But you need to collect some wheat, some oil, some steel, and some minerals. Yeah, Campbell doesn't care if you get gold or not for yourself. But it's you just need a little bit of each of those four. It's not really a lot. I think it's only like 2,500 wheat and oil and stuff like that. If you got some buffs or just a pretty good gathering speed, then you can get it done in like 30 minutes, just the amount you need. And then you can recall all of them. You don't have to take out the whole mine and just recall them and then do whatever you wish to do. Hope that helps out some people. Y'all keep growing, getting stronger. Peace out, y'all.